So I didn't tell y'all yesterday, but uh, something weird kind of happened, kind of spooky. Uh, when I got to the hot springs, I noticed a wallet and a phone and a little knife sitting kind of in a corner. And I didn't think anything of it, but I just let it be, you know. People were kind of coming and going. <coughs> and, you know, towards the I don't know, end of the night, like 6, 7 o'clock, I decided, well, must not be anyone's. And everyone had gone by then, so I went and checked it out. And the battery was taken out of the phone, so I put the battery in, turned on the phone, and started looking at some of the photos in the phone, and they're just kind of weird, just kind of creepy. Um, there were like a ton of photos of the the guy that killed the black guy in George, George Floyd in Minnesota. Um, just a ton of like screenshots of him and um, some like sniper type shots and then a bunch of like these weird kind of Satan drawings and after after seeing all those I just got creeped out especially with the knife there and like they were just left there and the phone um, had tape over the camera and I don't know, it just gave me the creeps. And I ended up throwing the knife into the river like it had a little guard on it. And I just, I, don't, I didn't want it to be around uh, just in case he did come back. Uh, yeah, so I threw that in the river. I mean, don't like to litter and stuff, but I don't like guns and knives and... And so I got rid of that, and then uh, when I, you know, more people came throughout the night and stuff, and and so that made me feel a bit safer that there were people around. And then when I went to bed, I decided to take the wallet and phone and turn it in today to the campground host um, down the road. But, um... Yeah, it was just spooky. It made me feel uneasy. And the guy's driver's license, like, he just looked like a weirdo. Like, a, I don't know. Yeah. And I actually didn't sleep that well because of it. Um, I slept fine until, like, I don't know, 4 or 5 a.m. And then I just had these weird dreams and... Yeah, not cool. I don't know. It's, yeah, so I just thought I'd tell you that weird story. Maybe, like maybe he drowned in the river. Maybe he was swimming and got swept away. Maybe he just forgot his stuff and he's a nice guy. I don't know. And um, I was so scared that I actually took a photo of his driver's license and made a little video just in case something happened to me. Um, I even thought about packing up and leaving, finding a different campsite. But there were two groups camping nearby, so I figured that was probably better than being alone in the woods. And I forgot to mention that some of the photos he had were like gun laws for Oregon, like concealing guns and like screenshots of that and a bunch of like racist stuff and yeah just weird scary uh, one funny thing though when I, I was driving to uh, through the campground there, there was a group sitting around a campfire and one of the guys yells, Where's the bagpipes? <laughs> and wow, did I LOL. Uh, because the guy in Portland, like this 
famous guy, unicyclist in Portland, always rides around with a big pipe that shoots flames out of it. And he's pretty well known, I think, over the world, but um, definitely in Portland. And so I thought that was hilarious. Really made me laugh. Pro tip, do a random act of kindness today. You know, whether it's buying the person behind you their coffee, or just telling your parents that they look nice, they look beautiful, handsome, or, you know, your siblings, or your kids, or a random stranger. Because what happens is it makes them feel really good, and that makes you feel really good. So it's a win-win situation. Why wouldn't you? A cute little shallow lake. Not the easiest trail to roll a wheel on, but I have only a couple more miles to Olali Lake. How beautiful is that? Chips, check. Ice cold Coke, check. View, check. Beer, check. New sunglasses, check. Because I lost mine. I've, yeah, I left them behind at the hot springs. Beer and pickles. Yummy. No place I'd rather be. Well, actually there's a couple places I'd rather be. Maybe in a hot tub. But, this is pretty good. Day 26. Less than five days to go, or about five days, 120 some miles. And today was great. Um, I started out a bit hungover, but I slept in. I knew I only had 14 miles to do to get here. So I slow rolled it and I dropped off the wallet and phone at the campground host. Then it was like seven eight miles uphill on a paved road easy I mean I sweated a lot but did it done it check it off the list and then it was kind of a crappy trail for four or five miles but I just walked uphill and then I got to Olali Lake um, a well-known PCT rest stop because you can resupply and it's a beautiful spot. You can get beer and you can just chillax and that's what I did for a couple hours. Charged my battery and phone. I met a bike packer that's doing the OTT and I saw him post a couple things on Facebook over the last week or two and so I knew he was gonna catch me sooner or later but it's really cool because he's doing the OTT on this like $200 kind of crappy bike and like he has no panniers no brackets just a big backpack and he's a character that's great he's showing you that you don't need a lot of money to do trails you can just get by with what you got and it's awesome like he even has a kickstand on his bike like that's that's sweet and yeah I forget his name but he's taking some good photos and he's doing it um yeah it's funny because there was like three bike packers at the store, like I don't know, three four thousand dollar bikes that they're using. 
they're only doing like a three, four day trip. And he pulls in and he has this literally $200 bike. And he's doing it and he's happy and it's great. So that's awesome. Good on ya, mate. Um, I also met a couple that gave me a Corona and a lime to go with it and a mango. So thanks for that. That was awesome. That hit the spot. And then an hour later, uh, another girl with the, her kid gave me this IPA and an apple and a bar. So thank you all for that. It's little things like that that just make me smile. So thanks, y'all, for making me happy. I was going to go for a swim, but no swimming allowed at the lake for some reason. It seems kind of weird, but it is what it is. And I'm just having a fire now and relaxing. Made some mac and cheese. And all is well. Uh, yeah, like four or five days left. So the end is near. I forgot to mention, I also met two PCT hikers. Uh, they're only doing like 500 miles. Yeah, only 500 miles. Um, but they were super cool. And this is the fourth time I've crossed the PCT. And I can't wait for the day that I'm actually hiking it. And I come to the Olali Lake. And I'm like, yeah, boy, I've been here. It's going to be awesome someday.